Welcome back to the channel, sports fans. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Aqualock uh, push to connect fitting from Watts. It's similar to a shark bite, but there is one very important difference you need to know. And I'm going to show you how to use it. I'm going to show you that important difference and the similarities. So uh, stay tuned for the video. Here we go. Okay, folks, welcome back to the channel. Okay. Today I'm going to show you how to use these watts push to connect uh, couplings. Uh, this is the Aqua Aqua Lock. Um, it's, it's basically a push to connect fitting, like shark, similar to shark bites. I ain't going to say the same because, um, but they operate a little different than shark bites. So. Uh, here's what we're doing today. We're replumbing this hope my buddy's whole water heater. He had Can you see that? Years and years of seepage Every one of these connections leaked And the major one where it went uh, Went into the cold line where it went into the water heater leak. So I'm just uh, sitting here kind of Supervising letting him work on this show him what we need um the water had actually leaked and came down into this connection box and shorted out the wiring and burned it in two. Why it didn't trip the breaker, I have no idea. But uh, anyways, he noticed something when his water heater wasn't working. So we had leaks, like I said, every connection. This one leaked. This is, got him a new one uh, here. We're fixing to hook this one up. Um, we're coming up with pecs. We're, we're going to eliminate all those doggone uh, connections and we're going to go one copper connection per line and the rest is is pecs and I've um, This is just after that polar vortex That's already a shark bite and We could not find shark bite brass to uh, brass Pecs to pecs connections everybody was sold out so one place did have these three quarter to three quarter uh, aqua locks by watts and so we grab some of those I grab some pecs and now I'm going to um, Put them on here and I'll show you Now your watts are going to come with this little baggie There's two C clips in the baggies and two these will go inside the pipe And you have these two C clips. Let me show you how this assembles now, unlike the Evo PEX, Watt says these are reusable. So what I've done is mark me a, you can see where I marked the line, so just about where that's going to seat. Now, an important thing you want to keep in mind when you're using any type of push connect fitting is most of them seal on the inside. And so if you use anything other than a tubing cutter, even if you do use a tubing cutter, you want to get the burrs off the outside and inside. See, I, I had to use a mini hacksaw because that's all he had. I thought he, he said he had a tubing cutter but couldn't find it. So we use a hacksaw. You do want your cut square and you want to come back and get those fumble. I hate not having tripod. Um, you want to get those uh, burrs off. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Get one of your clips ready and, and your nozzle, uh, not nozzle, but your insert goes in the end. And now this eight long, foot long piece of PEX is just being difficult. Okay. Goes in there just like so. Now the tricky part is with one hand. Okay, now you're going to take your your uh, watts, and you're going to push it all the way down and make sure it seats. Okay, I got to do this. Let me push it on, then we'll come right back. Okay. There it is. It's on. Now, once you get it on, we'll have to pull this back out just a little bit. Okay, did you see that? It's come out just a little bit. And we're going to, this has a tab on it. I always put these 
with the tab facing out because that way we can get them on so let me see if I can okay we ain't gonna push your C clip on there you go that's how you use a watts push to connect aqua lock and we are on now let me to get it off you only just do the reverse take your C clip off now I'm gonna have to use both hands to get this Or maybe, yep. I'm gonna have to use both hands, but you'll push this in just like kind of like with a with a uh, shark bite, and then you go and pull at the same time. And there you go. Actually, this was easier to get disconnect than a shark bite. So these are really easy, and if you, I, I, I like shark bites. I've used them for years. These watts, they are new to me, but so far I haven't had no problems. And they're a lot cheaper than shark bites. Uh, these were like uh, seven bucks, I think. And some of the shark bites we got, this push connect with the mail was like 13. So there you go. That's how you will use the watts aqua lock push connect fitting. Okay, here's the finished product. He did pretty good. It was really easy. Okay. There's a shark bite. He did really good. So now all he needs to do is finish his electrical. And we've done tested it. It does work. So it just needs to finish electrical. And we can water test this thing. See if we got any leaks. So anyway, thank y'all for watching. That's how you use a watts aqua lock push to connect fitting blue collar diy don check out the blog don't forget to like and subscribe like and subscribe